hello dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla i want to go ahead and start off by saying thank you for your love and support thank you for liking sharing and subscribing um and if you haven't done so i definitely encourage you to do so it helps with growing the channel getting the video out there for more people as well as keeping me accountable for personal readings all that information can be found down below in the description now pisces aries cusp what do we have for you guys this week? <clears throat> no. Um, what is this no in relation to? They're, they're screaming out no for some reason. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, some of you have been thinking or planning of a, uh, some type of revenge towards someone and you're being told no, you're being told to refocus and redirect your energy to more productive, constructive things. Um, and, and again, guys, these are general readings, so it, it, it is, uh, it, it is the way that it's coming off. It's like, don't, don't focus on revenge unless you want to get stuck in a, in a vicious cycle of back and forth. Um, because whatever you do towards this person, this person is going to retaliate. And then you're going to retaliate and then they're going to retaliate and it's just going to keep going. So it's kind of like a, a war without, without an end. Um, regardless of whatever this person did to you, it, it's kind of like, just, I, I'm not, I'm not telling you to let go of what they did. Um, I'm not telling you to forgive them or anything like that. Just don't, don't engage on wanting re, re revenge at this time um always remember that what goes around comes around sooner or later um needing that did you, it, it's just kind of like a reminder like just don't go down that way like don't it, it's almost kind of like this energy like that don't stoop to someone's level so if you're having issues at, at work with somebody or within a relationship or whatever it is it, it's kind of like Sometimes it's best to to practice um, silence, not because you are afraid and not because um, they're right and it's not because they're better or anything like that. But sometimes there are certain things that you have to you have to get to the point where you realize that certain arguments and certain people are not worth the time and energy um, to try to to either defend yourself or to defend a point or something like that there are people that are very 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 stuck in their ways when it comes to certain situations that regardless of not even your point of view on it but you speaking and i was talking to somebody about this the other day where there there are certain topics that I hear people talking about like when we're in groups and things like that and I won't comment on it and it's not because of my point of view it's more I I listen I observe a lot right and depending on how somebody expresses themselves based on a on a topic depends whether I engage in the conversation or not because for me, like my time, my breath, <laughs> my energy is very important. So I won't speak to someone or have a discussion with somebody regarding something when when they have expressed their their standing point and their unwillingness to see someone else's point of view. Because then to me, it's just kind of like it's going to be a moot point, right? Like you're not you're not gonna get. You're not going to be able to express yourself or express what you want to say without being cut off, right? So 
there there is no point in it right and, and it can be any topic right there there are a lot of topics that i see both sides of it right without necessarily having to attach myself to either side and what i've noticed in the past is like regardless of the two sides that i'm talking to i'm saying the same exact thing each side believes that i'm taking the other one's side even though it's not what i'm doing i'm just pointing out facts or pointing out certain things right um without verbally saying my opinion right and you have to learn to recognize that regardless of how you word things regardless of how you say things regardless of how you you can even say that like these are the facts right um people are only going to receive what you're saying based on their own perception and based on where they are at at that moment in time so it, instead of yelling and trying to force someone to realize or to recognize what it is that you're trying to say or what it is that you're trying to introduce or whatever it is don't even waste your time don't even waste your time is basically the energy um and instead of focus your time and energy on those that you can either have an opinion on right without being being questioned like why or whatever or at least somebody that you're able to get a full sentence out with because whatever this energy is there is this kind of like back and forth energy that at the end of the day the issue is not resolved and someone is not someone is choosing or is not seeing clearly that they are not as open-minded as they thought or somebody is unwilling to see a different perspective within a situation so let's go ahead and let's pull out um three tarot cards just to clarify <clears throat> now i have this knot in my throat um it's not uh, uh, I feel like this is going to be like a whole nother video by itself. Um, or it should be a whole nother video by itself. It is not about silencing your truth. It is about um, recognizing, right? That you don't have to force your truth on anyone for it to be true. You don't have to get other people to resonate with it for it to be true and you don't have to say it basically to anyone for it to be true you have to you have to get to a point where you're comfortable even if you're the only one that knows your truth and it, even if you're the only one that perceives something a certain way um and and, and just learning that not not every battle that presents itself in in front of you is meant to be be fought um whether it is like physically or verbally or anything like that sometimes your battle of your your tools or your or your your weapon of choice let's put it this way for a battle is silence and you, you know, if, if if you're worried about the person thinking they're going to win or whatever, that they, or they want or whatever, um, let them. What effect does that have on you? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's kind of like that energy. All right. So give me three cards, spirit. So we have the page of pentacles in the reverse, the moon and the upright. And the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, the Moon, and then the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, fighting this or going after this or um, trying to get revenge on someone or something like that. It, 
it is not a it is not a weakness um and, and it's almost like going into this or getting revenge or trying to get your point across or something of that matter like you have more to lose than you realize And you're you're being guided not to not to sacrifice what you've been working on, and like not to sacrifice your sanity just to get revenge on someone or to get someone to to hear you or to listen to you. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull out an um, an oracle card. Now this can be confirmation to the reading. This can be your advice. Or simply something that you need to be made aware of that you're not seeing clearly. Just one card. All Hallows Eve, number one. Call upon, call upon the voices that stir your senses through the night. Cast an unforgiving howl as you stomp your mind through the ground. For some of you, simply walking away, um, simply not being involved, will get your message across, will get your point across. Um, regardless of what the other person says, they're they're gonna get the message and they're gonna get it loud and clear so really sit with yourself and sorry guys really sit with yourself and allow yourself to ask yourself do I really want to be in this in this war that but it's gonna just be going ongoing right this this war that is is never ending is it worth your your sanity is it worth your peace if you know your truth or if you know your stand on something, outside validation is not needed. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all your love and support. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.